How's it going everybody? This is Andy here with Ultima Eye Device Vids, and today we're going to be checking out Polar. This is a new city tweak that brings tvOS inspired pop-up menus to iOS. And of course tvOS is the operating system that's present on the new Apple TV 4. So basically whenever we get a pop-up menu, for example when we're going to download an app or anywhere on iOS, as you can see we get this nice new revised interface. And this is very similar to again the pop-up menus found on the Apple TV. It's this dark grade background blur of whatever environment that you're in and as you can see we have these black buttons and when we tap on them as you can see there's a nice white effect like that so it just gives you a really nice effect also the button gets bigger as you can see there when you tap on it so it's just again a really really nice effect i think it's much better than apple's default design and of course also when you're swiping between options like this you get that nice effect as well so uh, basically again it works everywhere in ios for example let's just say for safari when we're going to youtube.com of course because i have the youtube app installed it's going to try to make me redirect to the youtube app so of course as you see there it's going to bring up a pop-up menu so as you can see again it works everywhere in ios when you get pop-up menus Again, it just looks really nice. Now, there are some options to configure for the tweak. So you can open up settings on your device and open up the Polart preferences. So, of course, up the top, you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak. Then you have use wallpaper. This basically will use the wallpaper of your device as opposed to the environment that you're in and blur that instead. So... As you can see here, when I bring up a menu, again, it's taking in my wallpaper and blurring that as opposed to the environment. I personally p prefer this off because, again, I just like how it blurs the context in, but that's completely up to you. So next up, we have color. This basically allows you to manually uh, control the color of the blur. So we have red, green, and blue sliders. So let's just turn up, for example, red. As you can see there, we get a preview at the top. You can mix the colors as well, as you can see here, to your liking. But let's just make it red for this demonstration, and I'll show you once again it's just gonna provide me with a red tint there you go like that again i don't really like that either i just like how it you know i like the dark interface and how it blurs in the background so let's just turn that down and we'll back up here so then uh, after that we have the blur amount this is basically just how blurry it is let's just turn that up so now of course it's going to be very blurry like so i don't like that it looks like some sort of cloud of dust or something again i just like it a little bit lower so i prefer it somewhere around here i would say towards the bottom just like that then we have the alert size as well you could configure that with the slider then you have alternative style and this is kind of like an inverted interface style so let me show you what i'm talking about here so let's just jump into the app store again here and bring up a menu so as you can see there the buttons are now white as opposed to black and you know they still have that same effect when you tap on them how they get bigger but again it's just white as opposed to black so i prefer it the way it was before but again, that's there if you want it. And then we have a basically test alert section. So of course you could basically just see what everything's gonna look like without having to go into an app. So you can see here, it's just a test to make things a little bit easier on you. So that's a default one. Then there's a text input one as well. So you see there, that's how it looks with text input there. So you just select cancel. And of course, down below at the bottom, you could reset the settings if you wanna get everything back to the way it was default. And of course you could follow the developer on Twitter. So this is a really cool tweak. I just, again, I like this style much better than Apple's default style. I just think it looks a little bit cleaner and a little bit more interesting. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on City of Tweaks and Jailbreak content. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.